Anti-aging is a relatively new field in medicine. What is it about? As the name says, it's about treating aging. And when we do so, we have to do it like we treat any other disease as well. For example, if we treat diabetes, we have to know something about blood sugar and about insulin. When we treat aging, we have to know about the factors that are responsible for aging. And here comes the good news. During the recent years, we have identified clearly those risk factors of biological aging. And one of the main risk factors is really a biological clock that we have in each and every of our body cells. And this clock determines how many times cells can divide. This is usually something like 60 to 80 times. So once this limit is reached, then the cell dies. Talking about the biological clock, we know it exists, we know where it is, and we know how it ticks. The biological clocks are the so-called telomeres. Those are structures sitting at the end of the chromosomes and with each and every cell division those telomeres shorten. And once a critical limit is reached, the cell cannot divide anymore. That's the function of the telomere biological clock and this also makes it a very good marker for biological age. The picture of the biological clock is a very nice one, but it has its limits. Mechanical clocks tick the same way all the time. Biological clocks tick differently. They can tick faster or more slowly. And there are factors that influence the way that these biological clocks tick. And one of the main factors is oxidative stress. Oxidative stress is caused by so-called free radicals. What are free radicals? Free radicals are molecules that have a missing electron. Normally the electrons are paired in these molecules but in free radicals there is an unpaired electron and those molecules then try to catch the missing electron from another molecule and by this they do damage to this other molecule. The damage accumulates, this leads to functional losses and that is one of the main hallmarks of aging. Anti-aging is, as I said, a relatively new field in medicine. But there's also some criticism about it. One question very often asked is, is aging a disease? Do we have to treat it like any other disease? The answer is, maybe you don't have to call it a disease, but definitely aging is not good for your health. If you look at the major diseases that we are dealing with nowadays, that is cardiovascular disease, that is cancer, that is osteoporosis, that is Alzheimer's disease, dementia, then these diseases have very different risk factors. But one overall risk factor for all these diseases is biological aging, is getting old. The older we get, the more we are prone to disease. And that is why we need anti-aging medicine. This is really the preventive medicine of the 21st century.